Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Infamous here, coming back with a little video updated for the stamina DK. For those who didn't I think, get the opportunity to check out, um, a little while ago I did release a stamina DK build that was a bow, bow build for people who were looking for bow bow gameplay. Uh, I know a lot of people think that bow bow was, wasn't necessarily competitive um, for battlegrounds or even for open worlds for that matter. This is not a snipe build, right? I've decided... Uh, very early on when I was going to make this build that I did not want to make a one button mash build I actually wanted to create a build that was actually uh, very competitive and of course took a bit of skill to play um, I do feel that there are things that are a little broken on this build and that's on Zenimax it's not on me but we're doing the best that we can to make the build I'd say balanced but at the same time competitive skillful without the use of proc sets um, but updated for the patch to be relevant in the PvP setting that we have today. With that said, if you haven't had the opportunity to check out, be sure to check out battleofthebuild.com. It is a website dedicated for people who are looking for battlegrounds as well as no CP gameplay. These builds are also viable for CP. You would just have to put in the respective um, point allocated into your CP trees the way that you see fit. I particularly don't play CP, um, especially uh, I'm a PCNA player, um, and I primarily do Battlegrounds, but of course I wanted the builds that I run to be viable in all forms of PvP related gameplay. Now, the build of course in question is the one here, it is the um, Stam DK Bow Bow, this is the caustic build, there's a little blurb there about the build in particular, I'm just talking a bit really quickly briefly about the updates for the build for those who enjoy Bobo gameplay. Looking back at the, um, the stat sheet here, um, you'll see nothing in terms of the stats have changed. Still relatively running um, the same, it's the same amount of effective weapon damage, nothing has changed. The only thing that I think that I would possibly change would be if you could go for the sergeant's bow. On live, I could not get the sergeant's bow. Um, and I currently don't have the caustic bow. But if you have, <coughs> excuse me, if you have the um, the vet DSA bow, by all means, utilize it for your back bar. The only thing um, that I would say that, that would be the only thing that I would say that I would change for this particular build. Um, I I don't have it. I've tried it a couple of times. I've pugged it. It's been a nightmare. So I've given up on it. So instead of running at 16, I'm running at 55. Right. So this is where I'm at on live. I'm at 55, um, uh, 37 weapon damage. If you have the caustic bow to whoever has um, poison injection on them, you'll gain the extra 301 um, weapon damage against that person. With that said, the things that I will say that have changed for this particular build um, is that it's actually gotten burstier. They made updates to Silver Leash. I believe Silver Leash, um, when I released this build, the tooltip was at like 76, maybe 77. And as you can see, Silver Leash did get a buff. Um, it fires a bolt, fires an additional bolt at another nearby ally, addition doing 22% um, less damage. So prior to it, I believe it hit two targets besides the primary target. And then now it actually got buffed. It also got buffed in the range because Silver Leash used to be, um, I believe, 22 meters. And I believe that they buffed it to 28 meters. So that would be one of the changes for this particular build along with the damage change. So it'll be more burstier in terms of dealing direct damage um, to the primary target. It will still deal 22% um, less damage, so roughly around um, 7K-ish. Or what is that 16? Um, so you shave off about 6,800, I believe, the tooltip for hitting the adjacent person. It no longer does. Um, it no longer does the slow. They removed the slow, which is fine, uh, because the slow really wasn't that wasn't that relevant. The primary purpose of this build was to go into a heavy attack and then immediately and the mission cancel it with a silver leash. That combo, in essence, got even burstier than it was before just with this update, but not only because of the changes to Silver Shards. Um, uh, Acid Spray also got a little bit of a buff. The direct damage, as you can see there, fully buffed um, is 88 is 8780. It was slightly lower before. The tooltip on the dot um, got slightly nerfed. It was actually a little bit higher last patch. Um, if you're running Lightweight Trap, 
you can run light you can run um lightweight trap or you can run um something else from the fighters guild where are we you can also run something else from fighters guild whether you wanted to run the circle of protection um for the fear if you get multiple opponents around you that's up to you um the the lightweight trap works well too it's basic this was basically my flex spot but it did get a buff as you can see there um, the tooltip on the lightweight trap the reason i went lightweight trap is because it, this is a ranged build so you can actually throw it out um, it has a 28 meters the same as silver leash and pretty much the same as your light attacks so for example if there was someone that was far away maybe they were in a choke point or if you were going to fear and be uh, in fear of being like ganked by a night blade you could also throw it in front of you or throw it behind you so it had a wide variety of uses in um, in pvp also primarily i i played all of my builds in no cp battlegrounds um, but i just wanted to update that this did get a buff and of course it still does the immobilize gives you the minor force lasts for 10 seconds the up front damage though did get a slight nerf it used to be at around 7k in no cp and then they nerfed that but they dramatically buffed the um the damage over time from this ability the other thing that took both a i'd say a nerf and a buff would be drain shot um drain shot did get um slight increase in the cost as you can see from my build it wasn't 3100 um it did <coughs> excuse me it also did take a damage nerf the tooltip on this ability on this particular build was around 77 7800 as you can see it's 7k now but the difference is is that the heal actually got nerfed in the amount but it actually got buffed in the amount of times that you can utilize it. So previously, you could only util you would only receive the heal when you stunned someone, and then once they CC broke, then you would get the heal. So now they've changed it. So this actually, excuse me, becomes a spammable heal, which is kind of stupid. But I didn't make the change. So now every time it actually hits, you get hit, and of course you can see it has almost a 9700 tooltip. So this is kind of beneficial in light of the dramatic changes to the amount of dot damage that we're going to be taking this patch. So now we have an additional heal from this build. The other heal, of course, we are running um, is Cauterize. Cauterize seems to have taken a little bit of a, of a, of a nerf um, because on this particular build, it used to be at about 70, 7700, and I'm seeing it now only coming in at 7253. Poison injection in terms of the amount of damage that it dealt at execute got nerfed um, 200%, but the amount of dot damage up front got increased. And instead of it being a scaling to, what was it, 200 and 250%, whatever it was before, it's only 100%. So in essence, it does double damage once your opponent reaches below, uh, it can reach up to 100% damage as your opponent sorry i think i'm like hearing something as your opponent reaches below 50 percent, it starts to tick higher and you can see right there fully buffed up the tooltip on poison injection is almost 23.5 and of course that scales once the person is below um 50 it will deal up to 100 percent more damage um noxious breath got a buff in the tooltip on the dot portion and it looks like a little bit of the upfront damage um, as well for the for this particular build there was a change to our barrage it used to take um, once every half second and now it's only ticking once per second it still works fine because it's still able to pull out night blades i did prefer um, the half second because it basically guaranteed you were pulling out a night blade um, but because of cloak cloak in essence does give you that one second of immunity when you even if you're sitting in an aoe the tooltip in terms of the amount of damage that it will do, you can see it's 2400 per second times 16, so it's roughly around like an 18k dot if you know your opponents remain standing in it. For the most part, people end up do standing in it because it does have a fairly wide radius, um, and of course it has a range of 28 meters. I really like this ability, I utilize it very often in PvP, especially if you get gap closed by a melee build, immediately drop this just right on top of you and immediately hit them with noxious into a poison injection and then start dpsing go into a cc etc and then just start dpsing the person down no changes in terms of multiple armaments it's still the same 
um, shitty ability. The primary reason that we're using it is for one, the minor brutality as well as the extra um, heavy attack damage that it does there. It says fully charged heavy attacks um, is increased by 50%. There was no change with volatile armor. Um, there was a big change with corrosive. Corrosive no longer applies um, to your dots. So for example, acid spray, um, noxious breath, arrow barrage no longer are increased via corrosive which is fine the buff for this particular build is as, as you can see there at the end is that um, while active this ability this ability and your direct damage ignore enemy physical resistance so now the combo that i typically use is the heavy attack into a silver shards so in essence that got buffed so so now the tooltip on my heavy attack as you can see it's down here i'm going to take show you guys so you can take a look the tooltip for the heavy attack for the bow is right here so in no cp it's a 10k heavy attack tooltip so now that actually got buffed so between the heavy attack into a silver shards is now in the area of about 18,500 damage and now when you have corrosive you literally ignore 100 percent of that person's immunity of that person's um resistances so that that's a huge buff also that's a, that it's also a buff to the upfront damage um of noxious the upfront damage of poison injection basically anything that has upfront damage um as long as it's a direct as long as it's a direct ability so it would be probably more like your single targets um but it, the only thing that really matters is the vast majority of the burst from this particular build is a heavy attack into a silver shards previously it was hitting people i was getting up to like 7.7k 7.8k on anybody in large armor who who didn't keep their shield up and typically around 5.5k to 6.5k to someone running in medium i i would literally almost like chunk someone down to 75 percent or so i am mean, 25 percent health between a heavy attack into a silver shards so that basically got buffed because of the changes to corrosive the other thing that I will say is that for some reason Toxic Barrage also got a buff. When I presented this build, I said this needed a nerf. For some reason it got a buff. I believe in the in the original video, I said it did around 125k damage. It actually got buffed. So the tooltip is now around 133k. I in my opinion, I still believe that this ability is entirely too strong. It should just deal a form of direct damage and not be a channel that you can't roll dodge or that you can't um or that you can't reflect um it but it is what it is so this is basically um the update for the caustic build that is located here um at battle of the builds.com i'll be going through this weekend and then just kind of like putting in a little bit of the changes that are related to um the scale breaker patch and then feel free to check me out on twitch at infamous nyc i'm located right here for those who are interested feel free to give me a follow i stream fairly regularly as you can see, I'm hosting Mercy right now. But in any event, um, if you're looking for any build related to CP, uh, no CP, Battlegrounds, feel free to check out battleofthebuild.com. If you're interested and you're not sure exactly where to start, I've created a site, a portion of the site related to the how-tos of PvP, how to create a build, how to choose a class, and how to choose a race for the particular class that you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Of course, the more likes that you obviously give a video makes it easier for other people to find the video and for them to benefit from it. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Take care.